Hey, two of six. Uh, this is uh, Principio twenty five. I'm gonna make a quick video in response to uh, the quote you read out loud in your last video. Uh, great quote, by the way. Uh, I'd love to know who it's from. It sounds like C.S. Lewis, uh, but uh, of course I could be wrong. And uh, anyway, I understand your your skepticism uh, about the quote. Which, if um, and please correct me if I'm wrong. It basically boils down to uh, it's too good to be true. I mean, you, you said uh, it sounds fabulous, but uh, I don't know if I buy into it. Uh, so uh, I say that's a pretty healthy uh, degree of skepticism. I think any thought, really thoughtful person would uh, look at a quote like that and say, well, is that really true? You know, it sounds interesting, but uh, you know, uh, let me give it some more thought. What does it really mean? And so, uh, that's one thing I appreciate about you. You are a thoughtful one. I, uh, I, I want to suggest to you that uh, a careful look at the actual words that uh, uh, this person uses, uh, brilliant, gorgeous, talented, fabulous, suggests that um, what he's saying isn't too good to be true, but actually it's too true to be good. Okay, it's one of my favorite phrases from Bernard Shaw. Uh, there's a play that he wrote titled Too True to Be Good. I haven't read it, but uh, I love the phrase and I wanted to share it with you because I think it applies to this case. Uh, it, you know, Hitler was, uh, by many standards, a brilliant and talented man. Uh, now you may say, okay, that's, that's true. Uh, he was bad, and, but he was brilliant and talented. But what about the words gorgeous and fabulous? Well, gorgeous and fabulous, they mean essentially the same thing. Uh, it means that people are extraordinary. If you actually look at the definitions, the word good uh, only shows up as in, in the informal definition of the words gorgeous and fabulous. So again, uh, all those words basically mean we stand out in some way you know it doesn't not necessarily in a way that benefits humanity but we do stand out we all have a message inside of us and uh, I wanna say that I agree with the statement that our deep that our deepest fear is uh, is to find out that we are powerful not only uh, is it a, a, a scary thing for us to know that we're powerful, but also that we are free, actually, to determine uh, our lives. Although, uh, I would add a note to that, saying that what we are is not necessarily our conscious minds, that we have a vast subconscious. That's what I uh, really consider to be the real genius uh, in our lives. Most, mostly it comes from our subconscious. Uh, but anyway, so we, I think we are afraid to really see that we are in charge, that we have a lot of power, because with power and with freedom comes uh, a degree of responsibility. And so that, that's a very, that's a scary thing. You know, freedom and power are neutral terms in the sense that it's not necessarily good or bad, it depends on uh, what we do with it. And so that's my two cents uh, about the quote. Too true to be good uh, or too true to be entirely bad either, you know? Uh, that's, that's kind of the, the nature of reality, I think in so many ways you know it's not necessarily that it it's not necessarily that it's good or bad it's just reality you know reality everything in reality everything has a positive everything has a negative um, and so yeah so hope that helps and uh, I'll see you around